Hey gaming fans, so today's another Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile. Um, this is just one I put together for fun. It's, um, it's well, it's artifacts. And I tried to build this deck to be about as pure artifact as possible. I know a lot of other decks out there that are, they splash artifacts into the deck, but I thought this would be fun to just kind of build an entire deck around just artifacts. Um, so yeah, let's get to the profile. So for the first one, uh, this is your draw power of the deck. This is um, Artifact Caduceus, Caduceus, I don't know. I'm gonna butcher all these names, but that's okay. Um, so if, uh, if you're not familiar with artifacts, just in case, uh, they all have the same effect uh, if they are destroyed during your opponent's turn. So you, you actually get to play these as um, face down spell and traps. So you don't actually summon these things real, well you can, but most of the time you're gonna set these as a, a, a spell or a trap card. And then if it gets destroyed during your opponent's turn, um, it special summons itself from the graveyard as a monster, of course, and it has an effect that kicks in. So all of them pretty much do that. So this guy, he's, his effect is, as long as he's face up on the field, every time an artifact is special summoned during your opponent's turn, you get to draw a card. Uh, so this can get really crazy if you can keep this out on the field long enough um, to special summon lots of artifacts from your um, well, either from the field that get destroyed or from your graveyard. Uh, so a really cool card. And then I play three Artifact Scythe. Uh, so what this is, is this is really going to lock your opponent out of their extra deck for the whole turn. So when he's destroyed, um, same idea, during your opponent's turn, if he's face down in the spell and trap zone, he's destroyed, you special summon him. And then when he's special summoned, uh, your opponent can't use their extra deck that turn. Uh, which can really hurt your opponent, especially if you can do it on on their first turn. Uh, they're not going to be able to go off on all their plays. Um, they're just going to be able to normal summon, and that's about it. So, really good card to, to really have. The next one is Artifact Moralitech. Um, this one, I kind of wish I had more of these. I, I think because when I built this deck, or when I, when this deck first was popular, I guess, um, this card was at one. And so I, I only picked up one thinking, what's the difference? I can only play one anyways. But now it's at three, so um, I would probably play it more than one. But anyways, this guy's really good. So when he's special summon, he essentially he just blow um, on your opponent's turn. He blows up one card on the field. So you know, even though you only have, the, I only have the one in the deck, um, I can get to him pretty quickly anyway. So there is cards to search it out. Uh, the next one, I'm playing three artifact ages, ages. <laughs> So this one, uh, pretty much when he's special summoned during your opponent's turn, uh, artifact monsters you control cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Um, so you can pretty much, you know, get these guys out and your artifacts are going to be safe, hopefully safe that turn. I mean, there is other ways around it, but um, it makes it harder for your opponent to get rid of all your artifact monsters. Plus he's got 2500 defense, so you put him in defense mode and they might not be able to run him over. So a really good card there. And just in case they want to attack you, um, I put one artifact, Achilles, Achilles Shield. Um, so this basically says your opponent cannot target artifact monsters you control for attacks this turn. So if you special summon these both on your opponent's turn, they cannot attack your artifacts and they cannot destroy them by card effects. So it kind of reminds me of the uh, Melodious um, lock that you can pull out. Um, only problem is, um, you know, it it's just for that turn. So... Um, it's, you know, it's going to save them for one turn. Then the next one I have in here, this is uh, uh, Artifact Fail Not. Um, I know there's a better one that came out. I don't have it, um, just in case you can't see these. Um, but this, this one basically gets destroyed, and you get to take an artifact card from your, or monster from your graveyard and set it to your spell and trap zone. So you can kind of bring any of these guys back that have been destroyed. Um, but there is another one out there. I've, I don't remember the name of it but it, um, it actually summons it to the field. So um, if you have that one, obviously play that one. You might want to play one of each. I don't know. It's up to you. And the last of the artifacts is Beagle Tech. Um, this one's pretty cool because it uh, when he gets special summoned during your opponent's turn, you get to destroy two of your spell and traps. So you can set, up, so you set your field up with a lot of artifacts, and then all you have to do is special summon this guy during your opponent's turn. You get to blow up two of them and then they all get special summoned. So, really cool card. Especially if you have your draw card out there too. So you can draw quite a few cards by just 
you know, special summoning this guy, you draw a card, he destroys two, they go to the graveyard, and then you get to draw more cards. So, really cool. So that's it for the artifacts. That's all of them. That's a lot of artifacts for, <laughs> usually people only play a few. Um, then, just, just to kind of support the deck, I went with three curry bandits because, well, during your turn, you don't really do a lot, especially on your first turn of the game. Um, you're going to set a bunch of cards and that's about it. So why not use your normal summon to, to dig into some, you know, spell and trap cards. And it helps set up the, the graveyard for certain recurring effects just to get these artifacts on the field during your opponent's turn. And I have cards that do that as well. And for the last one, which I thought was really kind of fun, I'm playing two Light and Darkness Dragons. Now I've been trying to find a deck that these guys would work well in for a while now. And this deck is kind of perfect because um, what this guy does is once he hits the field, um, oh, he can't be special summoned, so you have to normal summon him. Um, but when he hits the field, he's 2800 defense, or sorry, attack. And uh, every time an effect is activated, this guy kicks in and negates that effect, and then he loses, um, I think it's, was it 500 or 800? It's 500. He loses 500 attack every time an, an effect is activated. He negates it. And then he gets weaker and weaker and weaker. And then when he gets destroyed, um, and you're going to hopefully he gets destroyed on your opponent's turn, you get to select one monster in your graveyard and special summon that card and then blow up all cards on your side of the field. So, well, actually you blow up the cards and then you special summon. So you probably want to grab, you know, your, your morale attack or whatever to blow up uh, your opponent's monsters or whatever or you can grab your scythe to stop their uh, extra summoning and all that stuff and then you can blow up any face down uh, artifacts you have set and then they'll all come back that turn so really cool uh, I think it really works in this deck and uh, kind of surprise your opponent so that's it for the monsters now for the spells so obviously draw power um, again uh, you don't do much on your turn. On your, you're doing a lot of stuff on your opponent's turn. So being able to draw, and uh, or not draw, but uh, add the, one of the top three cards of your deck to your hand really helps out to help fix your hands up. And um, you don't special summon anyways on your turn, so it doesn't really matter. Um, the next one is a card that was obviously designed for the artifacts, and that's Artifact Ignition. Um, this is pretty much like a, a mystical space typhoon. Uh, you target one spell or trap on the field and destroy that target. And if you do, set one artifact monster directly from your deck to your spell and trap zone as a spell card. So that's pretty cool. You know, not only can you destroy a, a card, but you get a card back. So you don't lose any advantage with this card. And you can destroy your own cards, so you could set off your artifacts with it. And then as an added bonus, if this card in your owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's card, your opponent skips their next battle phase. Um, and you must have an artifact monster in your main deck to activate this card so you can't really just tech this in into any deck you have to have at least one artifact in your deck to, to activate that effect but that's okay I mean so it was pretty much designed for this deck and of course it's quick play and for the last one I threw in a celestial transformation uh, just kind of like a surprise card this one lets you special summon a fairy from your hand um, all the artifact monsters are fairies so um, you have its you half its attack and it's destroyed during the end phase, but that's okay. What is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna special summon something out of your hand to surprise your opponent. So it could be a beagle tech to destroy some back row, could be um, anything that that you want to special summon out and get their effect off the morale attack, the scythe, stop them from su summoning from the extra deck that turn. So it could really come in handy. Also on your turn, um, you could use it as well just to get one onto the field. So you can go into either an Xyz play or Light and Darkness Dragon if you need to. You know, you can if you have already one monster out, you could use this to special summon the other one and then tribute them for Light and Darkness Dragon. And so on to the traps. So I play a lot of traps in this deck, so that's why there's not so many uh, spell cards here. So the traps, obviously you have to play Artifact Sanctum. So I got three Sanctums in here, the best trap in the deck. Um, so what this does is it special summons an artifact monster from your deck, um, and that's it. Like, you can only control one artifact sanctum for a turn. Uh, so pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to set this, and then on your opponent's turn you get to summon any artifact you want. Um, depending on what's going on on the field, um, or what you're planning on doing, you might need to blow something up, so you grab your morale attack, you might need to stop your opponent from special summoning, 
Or you might want to grab your draw card because you know you're going to go off on blowing up a bunch of uh, artifacts and then you get a pretty good draw going on there. So definitely must in the deck is the three sanctum. I think they're still, they might still be expensive. I'm not sure. I haven't checked the pricing on these guys. Then for the next one, um, back to the front. I'm playing three of those. Originally I was playing Call of the Haunted, but then I realized back to the front is so much better. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you on uh, uh, some other trap. But um, you target one monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense position. So it's good because you can grab your draw card guy. <laughs> He's 2400 defense, so you're putting him in defense is pretty good. You can also grab any of your, your you know, your shield, your a Aegis, or whatever his name is, the 2500 defender, um, and, you know, stop your opponent from being able to destroy. And, of course, if you have your this guy out, you get to draw a card every time you, you special summon from the graveyard. So that's really cool. Then this, the next trap I play is three Heavy Storm Duster. Um... You know, why not? You get to destroy two cards during your opponent's turn. Um, it's pretty much, you, you know, you, you destroy two spell or trap cards, you cannot conduct your battle phase. But that's no, no big deal, because you're pretty much always going to activate this card on your opponent's turn. So who cares if you can't get your battle phase? Um, but yeah, probably the best, one of the best destruction traps there are. Um, at least for this deck, anyways. And then, because these are all normal traps, three trap tricks. Um, so this will let you grab any one of these traps, and that's why I'm playing back to the front, because uh, Trap Trick can't, can't grab Call of the Haunted, because it only grabs normal traps. So you banish one normal trap from your deck, except Trap Trick itself, and set one card with that same name directly from your deck. Uh, also, it can be activated that turn, so you get to um, pretty much grab whatever trap you need to use. So you can grab a Sanctum to Special Summon one, You can, if you need to get something from your graveyard, you can grab your back to the front and if you need to blow up the field or blow up some spell and traps uh, yours or your opponents go for your heavy storm duster and then for the last two slots just a little bit of control uh, solemn strike now the fun thing about this deck is your opponent's gonna be nervous to want to destroy any of your back row because they're gonna set off your artifacts and stuff so or they'll just lose advantage because they'll try and destroy a sanctum and you'll chain it um, so the Solemn Strikes are good because they'll sit there hiding within those traps and um, or those artifacts and they won't know which one to target. So, you know, and it's just to help stop any kind of summons. Uh, really good control would be is if you had a Solemn Strike and you were able to pull off your uh, Scythe card to stop them from using their extra deck. Now you pretty much just stop them from doing anything that, that one turn. And so that's the main deck. Um, I did put together somewhat of a extra deck you know you can play like there's a lot of good links you can play i, I just grabbed these three because you know uh, i don't have a whole lot of link monsters myself i'm still building up my collection but um there is an artifact link monster that's really good too um of course i don't have it but <laughs> if you do have it you're definitely going to play it you would probably play two of them um but yeah i don't have one uh but i do have the the Xyz monsters the artifact durandal um, and they, these guys are pretty cool. So basically two level five monsters to special summon them. So that's two of your artifacts. And um, so his effect is pretty much when a monster effect is activated on the field or when a normal spell or trap card is activated, you could detach a material from this card and, it, and its effect becomes destroy one spell or trap your opponent controls. So what's gonna happen is if your opponent goes to play something, you basically turn that spell card or whatever it is into a, a mystical space typhoon that will destroy one of your back row uh, to get off your, your plays. So really good because you can negate their effect and you can pull off a, a destruction effect of one of your artifacts. The other one, uh, the other effect he has, which can come in handy, uh, especially on your own turn, is you can detach one material from this card. Each player with a hand shuffles their hand into their deck and then draws the same number of cards. So if you got like a crappy hand, you just need to refresh it. Uh, you just shuffle your hand back into your deck and draw a new new hand of whatever you had. So if you had three cards, you draw three cards. So pretty good card. Then, because they're all level fives, I just went with the generic rank five cards, like Adrius, who can destroy a face-up card your opponent controls. Uh, Tyrus, or Tyrus, Keeper of the Genesis. Uh, this one's kind of neat. This card effect can only be uh, applied, resolved, while it has XYZ materials. 
This card cannot be destroyed by card effects at the end of the battle phase. If this card attacked or was attacked, you could target one card your opponent controls and destroy that target. Um, and then during each of your end phase, you have to detach a material. So he can be really annoying. Um, Volcasaurus, which kind of like Keep Keeper, except he destroys a monster and he inflicts battle damage. Uh, but then he can't attack, but that's okay. You can just overlay with uh, these Thunder Dragon guys and uh, you get a piercing monster. So it really doesn't matter. So I play two of those. And, you know, just regular rank five stuff like the Ninja, Constellar Pleiades, Pleiades, whatever. Uh, two level five light monsters. Um, during Once per turn, during either player's turn, you get to attach an XYZ material from this card to target one card on the field, return it to the hand. So if you can't destroy it, you can bounce it. And one Shark Fortress. So that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, it seems like it would be a fun deck to just kind of mess around with your, oppo you know, your opponents. I don't know how, how well this would do in like a, a real stacked tournament or a proper tournament, but you know, it's just something fun to take to a locals and, you know, just be able to play Light and Darkness Dragon or, or play all the artifact cards again. Uh, really cool. Anyways, hope you liked the deck. Let me know what you think down below if you've played artifacts before or what kind of build you play. I always like to hear your comments. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.